Hey, what's up? It's Sarah. This is for Libra. You're the last sign I'm getting through for Zodiac Forecast, Energy Forecast 2023. There's love in the energy here. There's a plan. I don't know. Panama Canal. I don't know. That could be something. Panama Canal. All right, this is the Tarot Silicon Dawn and Margaret Charles deck. I love this deck. Hermit mode. Oh my god, so many signs are getting this. It's like almost every sign of Zodiac got Hermit at some point. There's a going within necessary at the beginning of 2023. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people like not going out who used to go out and like just like keeping to themselves more than ever and exploring more their inner worlds, their dream worlds, their, their true desires and wishes and dreams. There's a need to reprioritize Libra. Something is... Sort of an illusion i feel or some kind of like fantasy i'm hearing um that you'll have to like readjust your focus and figure out what you really want there and it could lead to an ending with the judgment coming through that's beautiful it's like um be around music if you can maybe live music and uh there's a bit of like fear energy here that that's kind of part of what's being released with that uh walking away from a battle of the past still in which you felt like I don't know. It was like attention, but not good attention. But yes, like the truth's being illuminated, and it's like dancing energy. It's happy energy. It's moving away from that dark um, heaviness of that past incident. Um, yeah, there is like that echo and hermit energy with this one, though. It's like eight of wands. It's about communication, but in this case, it's almost about like it's avoiding the world. So it's staying within like it looks like a shelter or something, but like you're only around people you really care about and you're keeping mostly to yourself there. It could be like a healing of the throat chakra actually, and this is like the perfect card to pull next because it's like she's literally like kind of seeing what she could do with her throat chakra here and like uh, the words she's saying are actually binding her, but that's sort of a message about like be very careful about the words you put out there because they will, um, they matter profoundly and um, they can manifest things in this world so make sure you're um, freeing yourself with your words and being honest with your communications this is you again just like in peaceful energy keeping to yourself reading or studying or um, just being in your own vibe um, your vibe will attract your tribe and um, this is the king of swords here which is someone who's maybe an air sign but someone who's very like there's a death of this connection though so it's like you're ending a connection with someone who's very like cold and um it could have been a woman or a man because we have the empress here but it was in reverse so it's like um it was like a false a false flame kind of connection yeah it was someone who left you hanging with other people um who wanted just to have too much control over your life or over the situation so you're releasing that person and i'm like really proud of you for it because i don't feel it was easy yeah, it was like they were just using you for sex, and that's it. Sorry about that. Um, but now you're moving into this brighter, um, more positive energy of, like, a true connection with an emperor, or maybe you're the emperor here. Um, it's a beautiful... It's just it's just friendship and, like, love energy. Um, but be careful not to um, relapse into this energy of chaos and drama. Um, you're rebalancing and having this opportunity for a new beginning, Libra, and this is Libra energy with justice coming through. So the scales are being rebalanced. Make sure you look at all angles before you make your choices. Weigh your options carefully, but this is victory. It's like a, a abundance enough to give back to others. This is you keeping yourself and like getting high with a friend you trust or something. Um, don't take it literally if you don't want to, but cherry energy means yes. If you were asking a question, release that fear. You can't control the those situations you can't you can't so you have to release it focus on what you can control like your energy and your time even if that means having the strength to keep to yourself um that's really important in this it seems like quite important that you do some like work alone and um reevaluate what you truly want okay and this is like a barren landscape here so that year is full of possibilities and potentials i'm gonna get another deck this is the quick deck which i won't have for much longer Libra 2023. Advice 
text messages from spirit guides, angels. There's a lot of overthinking you're doing right now, Libra. I don't know what that's about. But let's find out. Um, like third party energies. Um, I feel like some of these are for you are friends or like even coworkers, like people in your energy that are giving you like some stress. Perhaps time to move away from that. Um, that will give you victory when you remember who you are and your value. And don't worry about what others think of you. And that's going to heal you, the star energy. Speak your truth, even if it means cutting someone out of your time and energy. You know? Yeah, that's going to rebalance the scales. Justice coming through in this deck, too. So beautiful. Some of you could be dealing with the court systems, but not all of you. Um, but either way, you're moving away from some emotional situation of the past and getting some money and in the form of a blessing in the form of financial gain i feel um the emperor is like a huge level up for you if you're in this energy or it could be a connection um that, with a powerful person in a masculine energy and it's going to leave you having to make a choice of some sort um and it's going to be a bit of chaos around you at that time when you have to make that choice but you have to just like stay firm in your choice and um speak your truth and do what's best for you in that situation. Here's karma that you're releasing um, to do with... I wanted to say a fire sign. It's an earth or fire sign energy. I feel like someone um, in the masculine energy that doesn't have to be a man that was, like, giving you as an option or just not prioritizing it. That is something really All right, let's get some letters and I'll be done for you. Happy New Year. I'm so happy. <laughs> I, I've never done that before, but I put some letters back. I just felt, like, inclined to do it, so don't question it. Um, didn't look at them first. Just just do um, what I feel drawn to do when I'm pulling these letters. But that was weird. <laughs> just pointing it out. Um, we have mass here. Some of you could be going to church, I guess. Um, we have ass. Someone loves your butt. Um, we have I am... I don't know. I have Seer. You could be a psychic. Uh, we have a lot of R's for some reason. Beer is here. Um, deer, like a doe, a deer, you know, deer. We have doe. Yo. Um, I am yo trying to create a sentence, but, like, we just have sex coming through, S-E-X. I am sex. <laughs> I don't know, someone's aggressive. Uh, red is here, the color red is passion. LED, maybe someone has LED lights or something. Dress is here, someone likes when you wear, like, a red dress or something, or or they want to dress up for you in some way. Mm. OJ, orange juice. OB, I'm O'Brien, so I just had to point that out. Um, Rob, someone's name could be Rob, I guess. Do, 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 do. Seg, like a segue. Uh, Keg is here. Maybe you're partying. Mm. Lore, like a, like stories. Adore is here. Like I adore you. I adore is actually spelled out. Someone just really adores OJ. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I guess that could be someone's initials. Sarah O'Brien. I don't know. Also. Sob. Maybe I'm just getting too personal with this message. I am a Libra moon, so... I am doing this for sun, moon, and rising signs, so I guess maybe I'm just taking it for myself. Sorry for the theft. Um, I wanted to spell, like, mostly, but it's um, missing a T here. Sorry. 
sorry is um, actually fully here. S O R R Y. So someone could be like giving you a. That could be the truth that's coming out. Someone could be apologizing to you for something in the past. I feel like you're gonna forgive them. The energy is like pretty light and flutters. Um, big fire. Uh, you could get fired this year. I don't know. <laughs> this fire is fully here. Fiery. You could just have a lot of fiery energy or someone you know does. FM. The radio could be important. Mm. That's pretty much all I have here. Dire. Dear diary. Someone's like writing about you. Um, date of birth. Maybe you're getting like some identification updated. Um, lie. Yeah, someone lied to you and they're apologizing for it. That's coming through very true. Mob is here. I'm sorry I lied. I'm in the mob. I don't know. Hopefully that's not your story. But for some of you it is. All right. <laughs> all right. Have a beautiful year, Libra. And, um, you know, this is all in good fun. Just like make the year is what you make of it. And I have faith that you can make it a beautiful thing. And the end of the year is... <laughs> The end of the year is something to celebrate because it's like a new ver it's a new opportunity to be our true selves i don't know why i got so like preachy at the end of years but i love you libra have a yes, beautiful sir. new year